grooving, parting, face grooving and multi-directional turning. Today we talk Beyond Evolution with Kenametal South Africa. Beyond Evolution, parting, grooving, face grooving, multi-directional turning system from Kenametal. France, tell us about the unique clamping system that they have. Lee, the, the, the Beyond has a top and bottom V location surfaces as well as a V back which uh, locates quite uh, um, giving, giving you a lot of support from the back of the insert. Franz, tell us about the through coolant options on the new tooling and how that would improve tool life and also chip evacuation. Like all things, uh, the, more, the more coolant delivery you have at the actual cutting edge, uh, the better the, the, the performance of the tool and uh, the better the reaction of the steel being cut. We have what they call active coolant control. The coolant is coming through the spindle through, sorry, through the, the turret and uh, through your either your block or your integrated shank tool holder into your blade and the, 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 the coolant is delivered directly onto the cutting edge below the swarf which allows the swarf to peel off. I must though uh, mention that in South African conditions we find a lot of people are parting and grooving without without through coolant so it it requires slightly different um, uh, a mindset and in a lot of cases the market will have to start making sure they have coolant delivery at the cutting edge to make use of this technology it's, it's going to be there but it's going to be a sort of uh, non non-used optional extra if i could use a, a car term the, you'll be able to get through coolant but you need to deliver the coolant through your turret, through your tool, onto the cutting edge. But if you have that, our tool, our, our, the Beyond Evolution is the answer for you. Then France, multi-directional turning, chamfering, uh, profiling. I believe these tools are very suited to those applications as well. Yes, Lee, they, they are. They, um, I, I mean, it's, it's a horses for courses situation. If you have a job where you do a bit of grooving, a little bit of parting, and you've got multi-directional turning, I would suggest and I recommend using one insert that can do all three operations rather than have an ISO turning insert for turning and uh, a grooving insert for grooving and a parting insert for parting. So it's, it's, a, it's exceptionally versatile and obviously we have a range of inserts and geometries specifically for parting, specifically for grooving. And what I suggest the market should do is identify in the process that they're looking to, to tool up with where the largest percentage of material removal is. If it's in parting, then identify and select a, a specifically a parting insert that can groove and can do everything. Or if the majority of the operation is grooving, then choose an insert that does multi-directional grooving. If it's turning, then just choose an insert that does multi-directional turning and can groove and can part. It's far more flexible than the ISO standards, a range of tooling. And then Franz, what about grades and what sort of materials can we machine with uh, this product? Lee, there's, there's a, um, a range of grades uh, that covers a broad spectrum of material um, to be machined from steel, stainless, cast iron, non-ferrous and super alloys. And in, in some cases hardened material as well. Also available in square with varying uh, corner radii as well as full radii for, for profiling and uh, uh, other radii type uh, grooving applications. Well that looks like a very versatile tooling system which can possibly reduce the amount of tools in your turret, reducing tool changes and thereby saving you a bit on your cycle times.